guys, Spash here. So today, I'm here at the uh, fish dock at the East Washington site for the crappie fishing. This is what I'm using. The one of 32 ounce crappie jig with the two crappie tube. And I'm using the bubble, um, about like a two to three foot of line. I just cast it outside and reel in slowly. Yeah, I just cast it outside and then tied my line. Just like try to move it a little bit and wait uh, about like 10 seconds over there and then drag again and then wait for another 10 seconds. Um, like if the fish bite, they will just drag, uh, drag the bubble down to the water. At that time, I just pull harder. Um, that's how I do uh, crop fishing at the uh, like boat launch or fishing dock. That's how you relate. I do it. Oh, crappie. Just small crappie. Let it go. Shall I just find it? Just a small one. Yeah. Let it grow to be a big one. So today the water temperature is uh, 55 degree. Ideally, I want it to be uh, a little bit warmer, like to 60 degree. However, it's already at the middle of May. Um, this year, the temperature is just uh, too low for everything. That's why I come outside. Um, like uh, I think even the water temperature is low. The will have to spawn um, at some point that's why i came here and the usually they bite actively in the morning or like around before sunset but i don't have time to go outside at that time that's why i come here like around lunch time ideally you want to come out um, like a first thing in the morning or before the sunset I got my last crappie around that spot. Like usually they swim in a group. That's why I let my bubble stay there for a little bit longer. Otherwise I just oh oh that's a big yellow perch. <laughs> but I'm not here today for the yellow perch. I let it go then. Oh, the thing is sharp. Try to hurt me. <sighs> Pretty good size. Let's go. Oh, that's a rock bass. <laughs> that's pretty good size rock bass, actually. Um, it doesn't like other kind of bass. This rock bass cannot grow too big. So. So, as you guys can see, the wave is pretty strong now. Uh, that's why I let my uh, bubble just over there and don't reel in again. Why? Because uh, when the wave is calm, I want to move the uh, jig a little bit so that the, the jig head is moving. But now with the wave, uh, the allure itself is like bouncing already. So with this kind of wave, I don't really need to reel in a little bit. I just cast it over there and wait for the crappie to bite. Ah, that's a giant one. Go to Baba Gans Dana. That's a Baba Dioda. That's a giant one. Oh, that's a giant one. Okay. Yeah, good. Like I said, this, this one is on with the goop, you know. Oh, uncolored jig head, so good ones. Look at this one, pretty big, about a line inch. Very good. Yeah, very strong. Oh, that's a giant. 
another giant yellow perch with a snack on it. There's a lot of fear for him. So let's go. That's long. Okay guys, so I'm back into my car now. This is today all I got. Four of those pretty good size crappie. And uh, I've been here for about um, two hours, maybe. That's pretty good. Um, I thought it would not be good because usually crappie bite at early in the morning and really before sunset. Like four crappie in two hours during like, uh, now it's about uh, 4 p.m. It's really not bad at all. So you guys should try it out. Um, use the uh, Mino and the crappie tube with uh, one of 32 ounce crappie jig. Uh, with the bubble, my leader line is about uh, three foot. Really good, really good day. Hope you guys enjoy it. See you guys next time. Bye bye.